In this video, you will learn 11 plus non-verbal reasoning type 5, complete the pair. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Before we start the question, let's have a look at snaps. S stands for shape. How does the shape change? N stands for number. Does the number of sides or the number of shape changes? A stands for angle. If a shape rotates, then by how many degrees does it rotate? P stands for position. Does the position of a shape change? S stands for size. Does the size of a shape change? S stands for shading. Does the color or the shading pattern changes? Since we now know what snaps is, let's move on to our first question. Let's have a look at this example. And in this example, we're going to use snaps to help us. So first thing we're going to look at is going to be shapes. In terms of shapes, the shapes stay the same, so we can cross off shapes. Let's move on to number. In terms of number, the number of shapes stays the same as well, so cross that one too. Let's move on to angle. So in angle, if you look at the shape on the left, it rotates 90 degrees clockwise to become the shape on the right. So this means this shape we have right here must rotate 90 degrees clockwise to become our answer. So we can already cross off E because it has not been rotated at all. And we can put a tick next to angle. Let's move on to position. In terms of position, if you have a look at the tiny circle we have right here, it is towards the back of this triangle, but in the other shape, it moves to the front. So this means this diamond at the front must move to the back. So we can cross off A because the diamond's at the front, and we can cross off D for the same reason. So we are left with B and C. And let's put a tick next to position before we go on to size. In terms of size, the size stays the same, so I cross off size because it will not work. Let's move to shading. In terms of shading, if you look at the shading pattern, when it's black on the outside and white in the inside, on the next shape it becomes white on the outside and black in the inside. They basically swap. So right here we have white in the outside and black in the inside. So this means we must have black on the outside and white in the inside. So out of B and C, which one of these have black on the outside and white in the inside? It's obviously B. So we can cross off C. And so our answer to this question is going to be B. So I hope you guys understood everything. Let's have a look at this example. And for this example, we're going to use snaps to help us. First thing we're going to look at is going to be shapes. In terms of shapes, we cannot find the correlation by simply looking at both of the shapes, so we're going to cross shapes out. Let's move on to number. In terms of number, we can see that there's one less number of circles as the number of sides in a shape. So here we have a pentagon which has five sides, but over here we have four small circles. So this means we must have one less amount of small circles. Over here we have an octagon which has eight sides, which means we will have seven small circles, we can straight away cross off D and E because they only have six. Let's move on to angle now, but before we do that, let's put a tick next to number and let's go on to angle. In terms of angle, none of the shapes are rotated, so we can cross off angle. Let's move on to position. In terms of position, they're all at random position, so that won't really help us to find the answer. And let's put a cross next to position and let's move on to size. In terms of size, they're all different sizes, so once again, that won't help us, so let's cross it off. Let's move on to shading. In terms of shading, the shading pattern is basically what is in the middle. So in terms of here, we have a pentagon and we have a black circle in the middle. So this means, for the final shape, the shading pattern is black. So over here, we have a grey circle in the middle, which means the shading pattern for the answer must be grey. So out of A, B and C, which one of this is grey? And it's obviously A. So before we do that, let's cross off B and C. So our answer for this question is A. I hope you guys understood everything. Now to learn more non-verbal reasoning types, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous type, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.